Hello, everybody. Right. Uh, session time. Okay. Yes, it's been a while. My apologies. Busy training. Dance seems pretty hard. Not going to lie. Okay. But um, as promised, going to pump something out. It's quite hot in my garage today. <laughs> so it could be a sweetie one. Um, as you'll see behind me, we're just going to do, we've, we've, we have done similar one sessions like this before. Um, but hey, we're going to refresh them. I love this sort of session. Um, and we might find something different out of it than we have previously, but we're just focusing on rhythm. Okay, I, I, I'll harp on about it a lot. We have to do the majority of our stuff low rating to find consistency. Okay, so today we're going to get into our, into our rhythm, especially in the first part. Have a, have a quick warm up. We only need a couple of minutes to get the bodies moving, etc. We're going to roll into it, okay, and we're just going to find a nice, consistent rhythm, sustainable speed, and we're just, everything I talk about, what we're going to try and, I guess, the idea of finding what we want to do today is that we want to see, I want you to see what effect anything I talk about has on your technique and has on your speed, okay, so if you make a change, if we talk about rolling into the front or we talk about smoothness around the back or whatever it might be, okay, um, does it help get more speed? Okay, now, here's the kicker. If it does make you go slower slightly, don't worry about it, okay, but see if it just helps some, find some relaxation. Does it? Is it a consistent slow or is it a big drop in, in difference, okay? Because that's one thing is sometimes we have to take a step backwards to take two steps forward. Okay, so everything today, just really focusing. Use today as a session where you just, you're, you're really focusing on some little points that you're trying to make changes in. Okay, whether that's just in, in the rhythm, the flow, really holding the body form, hanging off the arms, all of that. Just use this session to really do that. Okay, and, and as I say, we're breaking it up. So we've got 15 minutes and one go to start. Okay, get, we'll get everything flowing. The next part, we just start to get a little bit more freedom once we get up to that 22, okay? And all that we do with that rating and, and why we do the intervals is just to help you along a little bit more with speed and just find a little bit more flow and rhythm, okay? And then in that last set, just get into it again, go up again. And then when we hit that 24, just really think about a continuous motion about what we're trying to achieve, just rolling through, rolling through. Okay, that's it. Very simple. Should be a good workout. It's 45 minutes, three, well, two minutes of rest in between it all. 60 seconds between the first and second. Um, so let's not muck around. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so uh, warm up as normal, or if you haven't been here before, uh, just whatever needs to be done just to help the body swing the body motion, okay, starting with just feeling our machine, getting a bit of stretch happening with the body, okay, and right from this word go, feel, feel what this is doing, okay, really start to get an appreciation for the machine helping us forward, that hangs around and just allowing our bodies just to compress coming into the front, okay? So in this warm-up especially, just take the strokes, make them get longer and longer each time, okay? Until we finally get out to what I would call a comfortable length, okay? Don't search, trying to really get forward, okay? Just be comfortable. Even just shut your eyes for a few strokes and feel, this is where I want to be. This is where I feel comfortable. I can feel that point of compression, okay? And then uncover them, same part, haven't changed. Have a look at this, see where that is. That's all we're going to use, okay? So nice, feel that body starting to come in with the legs, okay, in this warm up. Feeling the push. 
really feeling, even now, because we're not super worried about speed on the screen, feel the chain and the drive being one motion, okay? One motion. Sit back. Okay? Because what we're trying to achieve in terms of our drive phase is for the sequencing of the stroke to happen naturally. Okay? The legs initiate, push, body comes in, and the arms are just hanging through that entire period. Okay? We don't want to think about segregation like this. Okay, moving away from that to this smooth one push. Feeling the hang in the arms, the lats. One push against the balls of the feet. Right through. Okay, very simple. She's going to get hot. I'm not. Okay, so. Let's set it up, okay? 15 minute pieces. So jump onto the screen, select workout, new workout, intervals, time, okay? 15 minute set time. One minute rest time, okay? I'll just leave the one minute flashing for a second. Gonna have a quick drink. Okay, and always just remember these are uh, these sessions. Whenever you're training, experiment, try new shit, okay? Have a play with the drag. Think about how you're doing it, okay? Try try and break out of the status quo. Like this is this is just how I do it, okay? Think about it. See if you can get a couple of minutes with something in a position that we're trying to make it better for you, okay? Just think about the hang for that a little bit longer, okay? You might end up with really sore lats or something afterwards. Awesome, okay? But let's just push away from our boundaries a little bit. Really focus on what we're trying to do with our technique so that we can get the maximum efficiency, the maximum speed for effort, okay? Um, and that's what we're trying to do today, okay? Consistency. Look at the changes, okay, press the tick checkbox. So when we're making these changes, when we talk about something, see what the reaction is. I talk about when we go through it, and, and I'll go through it as we go through. When we make some changes, I'll be like, look at where you are. What's your speed? What did that do to the effect of the speed? Are you going faster? Are you going slower? Okay, now think about it. Keep focused on that. Okay, so this is what today is about. Very technical, very focused, okay? And really, let's just push our boundaries a little bit to try and, and just make some changes where we are probably needing to make changes, which we may have just been sitting on our laurels a little bit, okay? I'll be doing the same, okay? Here we go. <clears throat> sitting tall. Whew, are you ready? 15 minutes, 20 right. Here we go. This one. Row. Okay, good. So remember, first and foremost, when we get into this, let's find our rhythm. Okay, find a smooth drive. Really start by hanging off these arms and make sure that we're hanging off them through here. Okay, not here, not here, not up in the chest. Really imagine that you're just leaving the handle out the front and just pushing away from it, okay? Start with that. And because we're only just getting into the session, just slowly build into our speed. Okay, and be smooth around the finish. 
if we start smooth here, we should finish smooth right through the session, okay? So with me, hang, feel that body, open out naturally through the stroke, okay? And I want everybody to think about the handles just brushing the body. Just there, okay? Forget about them. Don't even worry about the draw. Because if we're doing it right, and we're pushing and hanging, legs are driving the body, the hands will naturally just come to us. Okay, good. Nice. Good motion. Okay, and because we're working on this smooth finish, brushing the body, when we're here, really feel the hands and the fingers on the handle getting drawn back to the front, okay? Use that energy, resistance of the machine to help with our recovery, okay? Smooth recovery at one speed, okay? Remembering that, yes, the hands are moving out over the knees, but we don't need to be super fast and slow down, okay? We're trying to have one speed coming into the front until we get to that compression point, which is around here, okay? So, Let's focus on that for a minute, okay? Let's focus on coming around and rolling forward, okay? Don't worry too much about the pickup at the moment, okay? Just feel in the hands, look at the chain, okay? Is it nice and flat or is there movement up and down? Okay, one of the telltale signs, if we do that, see how the chain gets a bounce. Okay, if it's smooth, it rolls in. Have a look at it in the housing. One line. Okay, good. So keep that focus now. Hands moving forward. Chain making us do the recovery, okay? We're not the ones making the recovery. The machine is helping the recovery and it's doing it for us because it's taking that handle back. We don't have to worry about the handle, okay? We move with the handle. So keep focused on that. Okay, the rating's very cruisy. We've got a good push happening. Okay, so keep focused again on this recovery. Just feel it smoothly. Feel that hand over the knees. Feel the body is getting a little bit of pivot from here, okay? but we're not set to do that, okay? That's tension, like that, okay? But this is sitting here. So I'm about here, I feel like I'm set. Don't have to be set from here, okay? Relaxation, 
suppleness in the muscles. Okay, good. Remember, this is metronomic. It's continuous. Okay? We can only drive it at one speed and have one consistent speed on the recovery, just like this. Okay? One thing to think about as well, okay, is when we make the drive, when we feel it towards the finish, okay, there's a lot of muscle tension, okay? As soon as the handle brushes the body, switch off, okay? See that? They're not tight and tense like that. I switch them off and I roll back. That's our work. Work. Rest. Work. Rest. That's our ratio that we're trying to find. Okay? So keep focused on that for a little bit. Roll with the machine. Nice and smooth. Okay, hang under the armpits again. Remember these lats. As if we were trying to lift a bar off the floor. Okay, hanging off a chin up bar. Those are the big muscles. These here, too small. This here, very big. Nice. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to work on, because we've got this nice rhythm through the drive, one push, we're thinking about the machine bringing us forward with nice supple body, nice supple arms and legs, okay, that are just Flowing back to get us into position. Okay, we do want to get into position. Let's start feeling this compression and tightness right here. Okay, where does that start to occur for you? It's basically the point of no return. Okay, we get to here. There's a point where you have to stop, okay? To hold that position, mine's there, okay? So just think about that for a little bit, okay? Where is it? Without reaching, without coming in and going, getting the seat under anymore, where's your point? Have a look at the handle. Where is it in conjunction with the housing, okay? Is it here? Doesn't matter, everybody is different. Okay, keep focused on that now. Okay. And now, because we've got an understanding of where that point is, start feeling it as you get to that point. Okay. The last five to ten centimeters of travel where it starts to feel that compress where it starts to feel uncomfortable, okay? Now what we're going to do is, as it starts to get uncomfortable, now let's focus on where are we feeling it? Are we feeling it in the body? Are we feeling it in the hips, the knees, okay? Let's move away from that and start feeling like it's a here in the balls of the feet. Coming in. We feel that load. Just like you were squatting down to pick something up. You feel that load. 
and then we push away, okay? And remember, one push. Feel like you're standing up, okay? If we transfer the movement of doing a squat on the floor to this motion here, very similar, okay? Just with a few angle changes, basically. So, feel that, compress, and now start to feel the timing of that change, okay? Around and away. But, and here's the kicker, just remember that the speed that we get on screen is made from here, right through to here, okay? So just remember that. We don't have to be ah, real strong at the front. We wanna be right through the drive. And this is why we talk about the sequencing of the legs driving the body, okay? The power of the legs with the addition of the body creates our maximum force, okay? Out of sequence by going legs and then body, we never reach our potential curve and force that we can create, okay, with our bodies. So, for the last two minutes, roll forward, smooth around, push away, okay. So just feel that for a bit. Smooth change in direction. Roll. Momentary patience right here to feel that pick up of the flywheel. Remembering that we shouldn't feel a maximum force till there. Okay? It's not here. It's here, halfway through the lead drive, body's come in, okay, so keep it smooth, keep focused on that front turn, last minute here, remember brush the body, feel the machine. Here it is. Okay, and breathe. Shouldn't have tension. Okay, yes, we're working hard. I can see the sweat already. But, should be controlled. Shouldn't be tense. We should be working resting, working, resting, okay, nice, good, okay, hold this through to the end, nice, okay, it's going to be hot, it's going to be hot, okay, Really good, okay, good start. So, same principles, we're gonna go over them again, sort of this first 10 minutes of this piece. Okay, just keep remembering this awkward position here, right? Where can you, where, where is it? Okay, try it now, just like, that's it. If I, I can't get any further than that, it's not comfortable for me to sit in that position. So as we get into that position, then we're just thinking about hanging away. And remember, it's a movement around the flywheel to pick up the flywheel, okay? It's not a movement in and out and heavy out, okay? There's an acceleration of the flywheel. Acceleration, okay? That's where we get our speed. Right, back into 20. Okay, and just start off here by calming ourselves, 
Finding the rhythm again, okay? Finding our movements around the back, around the front. Find that piece through the middle where we're pushing, where we're feeling that sequence of stroke. I know you're listening to me, but see if you can hear it in the machine. See if you can hear, where does the maximum speed sound? And it's just up the middle, right? Middle to the finish. And that's because we've gathered and we're using that force through the stroke. Okay, nice and flat while we do it. I'm going to focus on that. Really trying to have as much of a flat chain as we possibly can, okay? I don't mind a little bit of movement where we make it come down here and slightly a little bit up here. That's generally because as rowers, Blade out of the water, blade in the water, okay? But only needs to be small. Okay, so back to those fundamentals again. Machine doing work this way. Around. Feel it in the hands. Okay, even if you have to exaggerate the hand speed here to just feel, to switch off the arms, okay, make them floppy. And then figure out that that's what happens when we don't hold it back. Okay, and then when we do hold it back slightly to get it in formation with our body, now we've got just enough resistance in our hand to feel the speed that this is trying to take us back, okay? Now we've got a little bit of control on the machine. Okay, so work with the machine on the recovery to get the set up. Hands away. Smooth flow. Nice. Really good. Listen to that machine. Go so hear it again. One smooth sound of the flywheel. Even listen to the seat on the monorail, both ways. It's one speed here, see? One speed, one speed. Okay, it's not super fast. Good. Good motion. Okay, so we're back on our speeds. We're back focusing on this continuous motion. Let's have a check again on our feet. Okay, there will be a little bit of pull here around the back. And then as we come across here and we get in time with this pulling us forward. Our feet should almost be floating in our shoe. Okay, have a feel. And then as we come into that position of uncomfortable compression, let the heels naturally lift up. 
Feel the weight on the toes, balls of the feet. Okay, and then as we push, we come down onto the soles of the feet. Okay, and we sit back. We feel that hang of the arms. That motion. Really nice. Okay, good. So, keep that focus again. Self-check. Feet. Wiggle your toes if you need to. Keeping the hands moving. Round the back. Rolling forward. Here we go. Nice motion. Okay, really good. Okay, continuing to find our natural shape. Working on the setup and compression. Hands away. Roll forward. Smooth around the front. Okay, feel it. That first part of the drive, once we are at that catch position, is a if you ever use the force curve setting on the machine, second button down by the way, you'll see how there's a climb up, okay? It's not like we're hitting it straight off the line, okay? So we have to increase the speed of the stroke, okay? And because it's just impossible to have full power from the catch. Okay, the power's created through the stroke. Okay, good. This is nice. It's smooth. We've got relaxation of the handles. We're feeling the recovery happen with the machine. Okay, feel that again. It's what I call piano fingers. Just here, feel, feel it, feel it taking us back. Machine doing some work for us. We work bloody hard, okay? So let's get some free recovery with the machine. Here, around. And then, as we've got these soft knees, which are allowing us to get over top of, they just naturally break. Body's coming forward. See how easy and natural you can get into the setup position and this catch position. Okay? Nice. Okay, so as we prepare to go up and rate, remember that all the parts of the stroke are going to increase. Okay, the hand speed, the recovery, and the drive. Okay, everything. Not just here, the whole thing. Here we go. Now, and make it smooth, okay? Just slowly feel the increase here. Okay, the recovery's now a little bit quicker. 
the change in direction around the catch. A little bit quicker. Okay. And just don't feel like we're working harder. Okay, we'll naturally work harder. But the whole stroke that we've been manufacturing and working on just speeds up all the parts of it. Okay? The whole part. And it's only it's only about five percent, right? Okay, focus that. Have a moment to feel it. Roll with it. Smoothly. Feel the motion. Feel the roll. Okay, good. Nice. Try and make it feel effortless. At the points we don't need to worry about, which is here into the body, through there and around. Take our time, switch off, help get our body into position. Okay, good. This is nice. Really good. Okay, very nice. Okay, keep this going. Rolling with me. Work, rest. Okay, we feel that core, the hang, the sequence, through the drive, Okay, really good. It's a great motion there. Natural swing off the legs. It happens through the middle of the stroke. Hinging from the hips. Okay, not from the start. Try and get out of this. Okay, natural swing and sit back. Open out, but forget about the arms, okay? They're gonna come. We'll hang to what we can maintain. Hands come to us. Good. Okay, this is nice. Smooth, brush the body. Feel it unnatural, continuous, repetitive, working on the little parts time and time again. Okay? Open the mouth, relax the face. Okay, this is good. This is smooth. Feel it being smooth. One push. Okay, keep pushing your own boundaries. Away from your complacencies. Feel it. Good. Okay, this is great. Great work, team. All the way to the line. Nice. Hey, sweetie. Nice. Okay, so drink or wipe sweat. Don't stop. 
okay, really good. So here's where we gotta kick it in. Okay, this is where we have to really stay focused. Okay, fatigue's kicking in, heart rate's getting up. Okay, what we end up happening, which is very, very general, we revert to our old habits. Okay. It's very easy to work on bits and pieces that are outside of a comfort zone. This right now, <coughs> this piece, where we've got to keep trying to focus on staying on them. Okay, here we go. Now, so five minutes at each. Okay, we just start off here. Let's get into our rhythm. Take 30, take 45 seconds. Okay, to find our motions. Our shape and our form that we're trying to hold. Okay, good. Really nice. Remember that natural compression here. Don't overreach. Okay, we don't want to start doing this and try and get that little bit extra. Feel where you get to. That's it. We're not going any further. Okay. Roll forward. Nice. Hang. Remember that almost literally think like you are pushing away from the handles. They're stuck out there, we push away from them. Okay? They're gonna come, but if we think we've gotta make we've got to bring them with us, okay, we just start to get tight like this. Okay, we're like mm. hang. Trust me, okay? Hang. We can hang so much weight. Always use the example, chin up bar. We can hang there for a period, right? This is no different. We hang our weight, but because the flywheel's coming and speeding up, the handle's naturally gonna come to us. Nice. Good motion. Brush the body. There we go. Okay, very good. Feel that relaxation. As we come forward. I'm really going to start to think about my seat and my hands, the connection that they have here. And it's a connection that's obviously not a connection, but feel like they're moving. Once their hands are out, this and this are moving. Same speed. Okay, think about it. Have a feel. Shut your eyes again. Are they moving together? Okay, I'm going to close my eyes. Don't care about my stroke. Just want to feel, are they moving together? Can you feel them? Can you feel it? The energy between the two. Okay. This is good. Nice. Really good. Okay, good push. Feel that. Sit up together. One smooth. Travel forward. Okay, good.
okay? Shake it out, be loose, okay? Sometimes it starts getting over top of us a bit. Just uh, shake it out, okay? Refocus, here we go. Focus. Rhythm. Smooth. Travel forward. Good hang. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go up to 22. Now, remembering, how do we go up? We just add 5% more speed. Leg speed, hand speed, recovery speed. Okay, just like that, that's it. That's all we need to do. Okay. Good focus. Don't hold the hands around the back. Brush. Lead away. Good. Good focus. Good momentum. Continuous momentum. There it is. Really nice. Okay, great shape. Great flow. Good roll. Okay, it's smooth. Once again, feel that hands and seat. Remembering, once we get onto that recovery, there's no tension. It's loose. We're rolling with the speed. We've done all our work coming this way. Hey, nice. So, good. Heads up. Remember on that recovery, the head. Try and keep it nice and level. Relax. Bodies. Nice and proud. Nice and still, okay? Once we get through here, halfway on the recovery, we want that body to be in position, okay? It doesn't need to be in position here, like this, okay? Too manufactured, too mechanical. When we flow here, flow here, okay? See the difference, see that smoothness? Here, and while here, that's happening. We're feeling the last part of that compression on the feet. And we're picking the flywheel and we're accelerating it away. Okay? We're not powering it away. We're accelerating it away. We're increasing the speed of the flywheel with the legs and body, here, okay, good, feel that, feel how smooth, it's one propulsion from there, okay, good, nice, my hands around the back, That's it. It's continuous. Okay, nice. So stay loose. Stay relaxed. Breathe into it. 
Really good. Good flow. Good hang. That natural length. Sit back. Okay? So, when we go up, I'm not trying to power it. Do not power it. Overall, speed and rhythm, 5%. Here we go. Now, So just, just feel that extra speed. Phil, instead of thinking you've got to work harder, just think, hey, I'm getting set into the front earlier. Hey, my legs are accelerating a bit quicker. Oh, hey, I've got to pick up the hands a bit faster. Into the catch. Hey. My hand has to move quicker around the finish. Okay. So look at the overall picture rather than one part. Okay, rather than oh, I'm gonna push harder. Oh, I'm gonna push harder faster. No. Everywhere. The whole momentum, rhythm of our stroke. We are Maintaining our smoothness, we're maintaining that feeling, okay, tension on the recovery, get rid of it, hands around, feel it in the fingers, good, okay, nice, here it is. Yes, we are traveling quicker forward. Roll with it. Compress. Just so happens that the compression and the push away happens a bit quicker. That's it. Here, there. Roll, push. Roll, hang. Long arms to us. Good. Okay, last three minutes. Relax the face with me. Open the mouth, okay? We clench our teeth. We get tension in our face. It all comes down here. Breathe. Just roll with our motion. Roll with the continuation. Good. Really nice. That's it. Okay, long arms with me. Let's really focus. Break it down. Last two minutes. Hang, push and swing. Good. Nice. Momentum. Long arms. Both feet. Yeah. That's it. Okay, feel the rhythm around the back. Okay, let those hands Move away. Here. Good. Nice. Really good. Okay, with me again, focus. When the hands go away. Hands and speed of the seat. Here, now, together. Work, work them, feel it, work with them, I should say. Roll, here, 
synchronicity. Good. Okay, now, last 30 seconds. Open the mouth. Roll. Feel it. Patience. Continuous motion. Yeah, boy. Nice, that's it, team. All the way to the line. Hey. So good. Okay. Wow. Okay. Roll it out. Great workout. Okay. I've got to say, it is bloody hot here. I am sweating profusely. Okay. Right. Right, stopping my heart rate. Okay, so just press your menu buttons. Okay, save that to the menu. Okay, warm down time. Let's just take it easy, just row it out. Okay, so ultimately, we started the session talking about really just working technique, working parts that we possibly needed to just try and keep a bit more focus on. Okay. And I felt like we broke, we broke it down very, very well. Okay. Went through that. We got into that second piece. We're comfortable. We're still working on all the parts, the, the rhythm and everything else. Okay. And then when we get to that last set, it's what I said at the start. We tend to find that when we get tired, we go back to this or we, we go back to that or whatever it might be. Okay. Bad habits hardest thing in the world hardest thing in the world okay or old habit should i say hardest thing to get rid of whereas if we keep focusing on what we were trying to achieve with our our smoothness this rhythm forward okay the pickup around the front here being smooth and accelerated through okay not heavy off the catch okay really think about that hang through to the finish all of that okay the better we do that, the faster we go. Keep warming down. I'll just talk. Um, the better understanding we get of our rhythm and the flow. Okay, how the seat here and the handle, as you heard me, that relationship coming forward, how that works. That's where we get the most efficient rhythm and the speed as we roll into the catch. Okay. And then when we get to that catch, it's that compression to come around and then we increase the speed. Okay, one of the biggest misconceptions is everybody thinks they've got to make it go from here. No, okay, it's made through here, through this part where the handle's here, where the legs are driving and the body's coming with us. That part through the stroke, that's where we make the drive, okay? And then the better we get at making that turn around here, smooth with the bodies, nice and relaxed to be here and around, the more continuous we can make it, the longer we can hold speed, the longer we can hold that rhythm, etc. Okay? And that's really what it's all about. So keep warming down. Have a good warm down team. Okay? I've said enough, done enough. You guys have done plenty. Make sure you recover well. Okay? Rest up. It was a great session. It's always going to be there for you to go back over. You can redo it as many times as you like. Okay, and just really think about how you can improve on everything that I was talking about today. Okay, so well done. Great session. Okay, um, plenty more here, plenty more to come. Okay, there's plenty more that have been. So just remember, jump on, work hard, find out where you need to improve, find that rhythm, find that sweet spot that's going to make you go faster. Okay, and keep at it. That's all I can say. Okay, right. Cheers, team. Stay safe. All the best. Train hard. Thanks for me and the team at Sensei. We'll see you guys later.